what's up everybody tweets here and in this video i'm going to show you how to do a override for ammo stacking and add if you made like custom armor piercing rounds for like vanilla 556 um 308 any vanilla ammo or custom variants of that ammo which i have done and i'll show you that in a minute but I will show you the override for ammo stats and for those custom ammos that you made to go in the vanilla mags. So, first things first, um, I made 308, 556, and 762 by 39 armor piercing rounds. So, you pretty much want to take their texture and change it. So, you'll just go to like easy weapons. Um, ammunition and then data and look for the one that you want to edit and open it up and give it just change it a little bit I gave them black tips um, just so they look a little different than the vanilla texture and then when you do that you'll have that saved in your spot you'll have a config that'll be like any like custom ammo config like I've shown in my previous uh, weapon tutorial. And then you're just going to use their config. So for their ammunition, ammunition base, I just changed my display name. I'm using their model. I got the hidden selections. Um, and then I got the uh, half of my texture here. Um, this is where you can count. So how many stats? So if you wanted it more, you know, count for a um, hundred stats. That's fine. Um, and then I got my uh, bullet base, which if you go through your P drive, DZ, weapons, projectiles, and then open up their config, you can find whatever you're looking for. So say you wanted to make 308 armor piercing, I would, I took this whole section here and I just copied it over and then I adjusted it, raised it up. So as you can see, my damage, um, blood and shock, I raised it up a little bit. You don't want to raise it up too much, just a little bit, but just your, um, speeds and stuff but mainly you want to deal with is this section here and that's going to be the damage and shock and blood and then you do that for every bullet that you want to do it's going to be the similar config you're just going to change the name for like ammo is going to have ammo underscore 308 underscore ap is what i did same with the bullet as you just see and then once you have all that, save it. You do it for all your ammos that you want. And then you work on your overrides. So this is what the override config is going to look like. Now this top half, I got it separated so it's easier for you guys to see, um, will be the ammo stats. So you're just going to use all the class names of the vanilla ammo. With the ammunition base, you're going to have magazine base at the top too, like this. And CFG magazines. Your required add-ons are going to be DZ data, DZ weapons, ammunition, and DZ weapons magazine. And then you're going to use their class names and just give it a count of 100 or whatever you want the stat to be. 1,000, 80, it don't matter. Just use all their, the vanilla classes ammos and then that's going to be it for an override now for the magazines for your custom armor piercing rounds it's just going to have same thing the class name like the ammo the vanilla class name of the magazines all that you'd want changed with magazine base and then you're going to have ammo items you're going to have the vanilla ammo their tracer rounds like the normal magazines have in their vanilla config, but then you're gonna add your ammo to it. Same with 
that and that that's pretty much it it's it's pretty simple it's just a little override and then once you have all that you pack it and then you test it and then when you're in game you'll see now I have we'll start with the stats I got my 556 we'll take regular 556 here and then we'll just unpack it from the boxes and you'll see that they'll start stacking. So now we have 40. Sixty. I'm not gonna sit here and go through all the vanilla ammos, but just to show you that it works and give you an example. So we got all the five five six now stacked to a hundred. Um, it'll do the same thing for the 308. I'm not going to go through all 100. I'll just show you that it's working. Just like that. Now, you'll, we'll test out. So the standardized mag, that's 5.56. Five, Here are my armor piercing rounds. As you see, I made the tips a little black, and I just adjusted it to look a little different than the vanilla variant, as you can see. It's a little different. But you'll take your 5.56 five, armor piercing. And it'll load it in. And then you can unload it. And it'll give you your ammo back. And then just make sure that it still takes the vanilla, which it does. And then you can test, like, other things, like... LAR mag for the 308, which is working. Yeah, that, that's pretty much it. Um, it's just a simple override. Like I said, the um, ammo configs, it's the same way of making custom ammo. You just use their vanilla configs and change, adjust your damages and your names to match. And that way you have the custom version and not, yeah. So that's pretty much it. Um, if you have other modded ammos, it's pretty much just getting the class name for those ammos and adding it, copy, add it, put the value, and that's it. So like, if you had like 408, it would be whatever the class name and then, boom. And that's that's pretty much it. Um, magazine bait, it should be the same thing. Um, if you have, like, a modded weapon that takes 408, it would have ammo for their ammo 408, and then add, if you had, like, a custom armor pair, which you wouldn't really need an armor pair, so 408, but some people are crazy, you never know. But you can add it. Um, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, feel free to join my Discord below. This file will also be linked in the de description so you can download and use to work from. Um, yeah, other than that, I'll catch you in the next one. And uh, thanks for watching. Peace out.